This is a very funny story for kids. Once, there was a young man named Gaston who wanted to get married. He asked Charlotte to be his wife. She said, Yes, of course, I'll marry you. Both of their parents planned a wonderful wedding for them. Charlotte's family owned a large estate. We'll have the wedding right here, her mother said. Yes, Charlotte and Gaston agreed. Let's have the wedding out here on the lawn. Read more funny short stories. All of their friends and family members gathered for the big day. After the wedding, everyone ate and drank and danced long into the evening. Oh no, Gaston said. What's the matter? asked his wife. We are out of root beer. That's not a problem. I'll just go into the cellar and get more, she said. She carried the bottles down to steps and put two of them under the spigots of two large root beers barrels. Funny story for kids image source greater than at www. Is storybooks. Co. As she waited for them to fill, she started thinking about the future. Maybe someday I'll have a son, she thought. I'll name him after my father, Harold. She smiled thinking about a son named Harold and then she started to cry. What if I have a son named Harold and he was to die? I would be sad always. As Charlotte's tears ran down her cheeks and soaked her wedding dress, the bottles of root beer filled to overflowing. Root beer poured across the cellar floor. Meanwhile, Charlotte's mother came down into the cellar to find out what was taking so long. Seeing her daughter in tears, she rushed to her side, ignoring the root beer that was creating quite a puddle. What's the matter, my daughter? she asked. Oh, mother, Charlotte cried. What I were to have a son named Harold and he died, I would be sad always. Her mother thought about this and she too began to cry. The two women cried and the root beer continued to pour out across the floor. By now, Charlotte's father was concerned. Whatever is keeping them? He wondered and he headed down the steps to see. Oh my, he said as he splashed through the root beer. Why are you two crying? Charlotte's mother told her father what they'd been thinking. He was touched by Charlotte's idea to name her son after him. But then thinking about little Harold dying, Big Harold began to cry too. All three of them were so upset that they never bothered turning off the spigots to the root beer barrels. When none of them returned from the cellar, Gaston excused himself from the party and went looking for them. He waded through the root beer and turned off each spigot before asking his new wife and in-laws why they were crying. After his father-in-law told him, Gaston just shook his head and called them all fools. You spent your time worrying about something that may never happen and wasted all of this fine root beer. I can't stay in the presence of such fools cried Gaston. Funny story for kids image source greater than at www. Is Storybooks Co. You spent your time worrying about something that may never happen and wasted all of this fine root beer. I can't stay in the presence of such fools, cried Gaston. With that, he left promising to return only if he found three fools greater than the three of them. For months he traveled, not once finding a greater fool than his own wife. This made him sad as he did love her. Finally, one day, he noticed a woman trying to fill a bucket in a stream. 
The woman was crying as each time she brought the bucket out of the stream. The water all ran out the bottom. Realizing what her problem was, Gaston searched for a bucket that didn't have holes in the bottom. Here, he said as he handed her the bucket, to try this one. The woman was overjoyed when she filled the bucket with just one try. Oh, thank you. She squealed. I never would have been able to fill my bucket had it not been for you. Okay. I found one greater fool than my wife, Gaston thought. He continued down the road. You may. Before long, he saw a strange sight. A boy was holding up a pair of pants under a tree. His father, wearing only a shirt and underpants was jumping down from a large branch trying to land with each leg in the pants. Uck, his father said. I can't do it. I just can't put my pants on. Shaking his head, Gaston walked over to the man and said, Here, let me help. Just lean against the tree and lift up your left leg. The man did as he was told and Gaston pulled the pant leg up. Now do the same with your right leg. How can I thank you? The man said buttoning his pants. It's no problem, Gaston said as he walked away. Two fools greater than my wife and her parents. I wonder if I'll find another. As he walked into the city, he heard quite a commotion. There was a wedding about to take place, but there was a problem. The bride was coming into the center of the town on a horse but was too tall to fit under the bridge. What will we do? The groom cried. We can't cut off her head and the horse will be no good without his legs. Gaston walked over to the bride, reached up and pushed her head down to the horse's neck. They passed easily under the bridge. Funny story for kids image source greater than at www. Is storybooks. Co. The problem was solved in Gaston. Knowing there truly were more fools in the world, went home to be with his wife. Gaston and Charlotte lived happily for the rest of their lives. They had two daughters and a son whom they herald, of course. And do you know what? Harold didn't die after all. And to this day, he still lives with his father and his mother, who by the way, no longer worries about the future. Also read, The Bald Man and the Fly. Here is a visual depiction of a very funny story for kids, Gaston and the Fool's Story. Funny Story for Kids Video